Here's some, some research from Pew Data uh, on sellers and what they think about selling a home. And what they think is that it sucks. This is what they think. This is sellers. One in five think selling a home is more stressful than planning a wedding. That's, that's insane, right? I've been a part of wedding planning. I've been a part of weddings and it is a lot of work. It's extremely stressful. And seller one in five think it's more stressful. It's pretty crazy. Look at this one. 27% of sellers think it's more stressful to sell a home than go on job interviews. They don't like it. They're not digging the home selling process. Look at this next one. This one blew me away. 13% of sellers would rather spend a week in jail than sell a home. And then check this one out. 36% of Americans cried at least once during the home selling process. I mean, this is terrible, right? Like, like people think that, you know, it sucks. And that is the narrative that is being purported out there. Now, I talk often about this. The reality is, is that if you were to work with an agent like me or an agent like you who shows up and invests in your business, keyword, your business, real estate business, when you invest in your real estate business, well, then your seller's not going to have a bad experience. They're going to have an amazing experience because you have the system and the process and the know-how in place. But see, 1.4 million realtors mean that there's a heck of a lot of them out there that aren't providing the standard of care that you and I would. And so we're fighting against this narrative that's being purported. And here's some other interesting tidbits. Here are the top four stressors for sellers. So 70% of sellers, they were stressed out about the uncertainty over what the sales price would be. Seven out of 10, stress out about the uncertainty over the sales price. 69% were stressed out because they weren't sure if the home would sell within their desired time frame. 65% were stressed out about having to fix their home up to sell or having to make repairs. And I think that as we hear these things, we're going, yep, we get it. We get it. These things can be stressful. 65% of sellers were stressed out that an offer would fall through, right? You get that offer and you're excited because you got the offer now. And then you're on pins and needles wondering, oh, are we going to be able to clear all these contingencies? Is everything going to go well? Is the appraisal going to come in? Is the inspection going to go well? And so all of these things cause sellers a lot of stress. Here is something else that I found that was really insightful. 77% of sellers would give up five to 10% of their equity to avoid the hassle of a traditional sale. 77%, almost, almost eight out of 10 people would give up five to 10% of their equity to avoid the hassle of a traditional home sale. So, what do consumers want? What do sellers want? What are they looking for in that real estate transaction? And I think overall, we are being trained as a society to want the Amazon experience, right? You push a button, magic happens. It's surprise and delight. It's digital. It's cool. It's something that you're like, oh, wow, that was easy. That was fun. And so I think that consumers want that. They want that Amazon experience, that push a button, magic happens experience. And Sellers also want transparency. They want transparency. Now, here's the reality is, and this is something for me that required a bit of a paradigm shift when we first started really working with iBuyers at a high level and really working with sellers at a high level. And the, the paradigm shift for me was that money wasn't the primary goal of every seller, that the primary goal wasn't to get the most money, not always. Sometimes other things trump that. And so it's a paradigm shift, really starting to immerse yourself in today's consumer and what they're wanting. And they want transparency. If there are fees, they, they want to know about them. If there will be repairs, they want to know about them. And I think that, you know, as consumers ourselves, we feel the same way. We want that as well. 